I am a man who has never tied his own shoes before. Wrong. You are a prince who has never tied his shoes. Believe me, I tied my own shoes once. It is an overrated experience. Welcome to Something Crunchy. Tyler is homies with Blake. Blake is the older bro of Blair. Blair is married to Tyler and is a slutty slut slut. Welcome to Something Crunchy. What the hell is crunchy? Welcome to Something Crunchy. Welcome to another episode of Let's Get Highness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cullen Blake. With me as always, Blair. And Tyler Dressel. How are we feeling tonight? Brother, <laughs> royally pumped for tonight. <laughs> oh, we got a good one. Similar to how we did the presidential sode in number 60, where we did a Jeopardy-style game to discuss on-screen presidents, we'll stay respectful while being relevant, and do the same tonight with on-screen royalty. Yeah! <laughs> Let's get to it, because we have some crunchy headlines to discuss as well. So as you can see, we have a nice board put together here, and along the top, the six categories you'll be choosing from. And they are small screen royals, biopics and nonfiction, more than one monarch, fictional royalty, extra fictional royalty, (laughs) and I'd kneel for him. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm into it. Each category has five answers underneath, all with values ranging from one to five chubs. I see that. When it's your turn on the board, you can choose any one you like, and we'll have 10 seconds to answer once I'm finished reading the question. If you answer correctly, you keep going, but if you answer incorrectly, your opponent has the chance to steal for chubs and then take over selecting questions until they miss. Ooh. Blair, because you earned your first win of the seas in the last game played, you have been selected to choose first. Yay! <laughs> and the board is yours. I think I'm going to do fictional royalty for one chub, please. Fictional royalty for one chub. Princess Mia Thermopolis was played by this actor in her breakout role from 2001, Blair. The Princess Diaries. And Hathaway. That is correct. Yes! Oh my you don't God. have to say your name. <laughs> Blair, yes. I know this answer. One. Way to go, B. Okay, let's do small screen royals. For two chubs, please. Ooh, your two chub answer. <laughs> Both Claire Foy and Olivia Coleman have been awarded for their portrayal of Queen Elizabeth II in this popular series. Is this Queen of the Dragon? That is incorrect. Oh. You try. Tyler, you have the chance to steal in either way. The board will be yours. Oh, is it no. the Queen? That is incorrect. Fuck! It is the Crown. Oh, oh, that's what I meant so to say. Close. close. I uh, kneel for him for three. Such a great category. Your three chub answer. This actor received critical and commercial success after his portrayal of King George the Sixth in the King's Speech from 2010. Uh, yeah, Blair, we know. <laughs> Blair's got her hands raised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Probably even wrong. Uh, I don't know. Pass. Ten seconds is up. Blair, you have the chance to steal. Is it Colin Firth? That is correct. Yes! Do I get the points? Three chubs for Blair. Woo! She gets to steal, and the board is hers. Okay. I'd kneel for him. Two chubs, please. This actor plays American snob King Ralph in the 1991 comedy of the same name. John Goodman. That's correct. <laughs> You're welcome, Blair. I showed her the damn trailer for we that like last night. We literally just discussed this, but thank you. You're welcome. More than one monarch. Three chubs, please. This actor has played King Danny, King Richard, and an aging King Arthur in 1995's Last Night. Oh, wow. That's a lot of king showings there. Yeah. Okay. I should need like an age bracket. Like, is this like a an older gentleman, or is this like a young scrappy king? Like, she wants to know more. You're spending your ten seconds asking me questions. I can't yeah, answer. I yeah. can't get any hints or anything. You can get Tyler. You're up. <laughs> you're up. I don't know. One more time. This actor played King Danny, King Richard, in an aging King Arthur in 1995's Last Night. Danny McBride, Sean Connery. Yeah. Oh, we'll, of course. We'll take Schwartz for three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we should have known this. Should have known. Shock Um, Tyler, 
You missed, but still, the board is yours. All right. How about fictional royalty for two chubs? We have to say that's an excellent choice. Thank you. Prince Akeem Jafar is heir to this fictional African territory and coming to America. <laughs> oh, you stumped. <laughs> Your chance to steal. Zamunda. Zamunda is correct. Zamunda. I'm going to take small screen royals for one chub, please. In probably the most slappable performance by a kid, King Joffrey Baratheon was played by Jack Gleason in this HBO series. Uh, fucking shit. The one that everybody fucking loves. Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is correct. Game of Thrones. Okay, I'm like, ugh, people are going to be so pissed at me if I get, all, if I get this right. <laughs> I know chill. this little shit is from something. Okay. More than one monarch for two chubs, please. James Earl Jones has had more than one fictional monarch. Name them both for two chubs. Coming to America. Okay, and what else? Oh, <laughs> this is going to kill me. I'm going to get a James Earl Jones question wrong. I'm sick. Do I get a half chub for this? No. It's a two, it's Tyler, a two chub question. Tyler, Tyler gets the opportunity to steal. If he gets it wrong, do I get at least one chub? You do not. Oh. If it, Tyler would have done this, I guarantee you would have given him a half chub for those. That's debatable. Yeah. All right, Tyler, but do you know you, both? No. What's the other one? No, no. You do know. You're going to be upset. No. Star Wars. No. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> he was He was Emperor Darth Vader. Ooh. I may have to look into that. <laughs> that might have been like that, a trick we, question. We may have to allow that. <laughs> James Earl Jones has had more than one fictional monarch, King Joffrey Jafar in Coming to America, and also he was King Mufasa in uh, Lion King. Oh, my God. I knew it was just his voice. Uh, cool. I know. I was like, I was thinking animation. What was, and then, of course, it was like the greatest. Like, so Tyler gets a half a chub for Darth Vader. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm done. I'm on the board. <laughs> All right. I'm done. I'm here. Back in it. Tyler, the board is yours. Hmm. Do biopics nonfiction for two. Biopics and nonfiction for two chubs. Leonardo DiCaprio played King Louis XIV in this 1998 action drama. Romeo and Juliet. Whoa. That's incorrect. Shit! I thought I had it with that one. <laughs> Around for the same time, I think. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Get that wrong! Basketball Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Grape. Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Blair, you have a chance to steal. Oh, I don't have it. Wow. King of the Garden Gnomes. And it is the man in the Iron Mask. Oh, come In one of his lesser known roles, the celebrated actor played Louis the Great and also his twin brother who was locked in the Iron Mask. What? It's tough. This is tough. We got half a chub over here. Half of a charity <laughs> chub, I might add. <laughs> Is, it still my is that even like confirmed, by the way? He gets a full chub if it's confirmed. Small oh. screen royals. <laughs> Our department is still getting back to us on the call on that one. Your three chub answer. Mm. King Henry V is portrayed on Netflix's The King by this young actor. Tom Holland. Incorrect, but good guess. Ah, fuck, I'm horrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a good guess, though. This is Timothy Chalamet. That is correct. Really? Blair earns her three chubs. Oh my gosh, I'll take them. Wow. Okay. Well done, B. I need some extra fictional royalty for one chub, please. In the movie Ants, main character Z becomes royalty after he marries this aunt of privilege, voiced by Sharon Stone. Oh, oh my god. V? Um, oh, Princess, not, uh, no. <laughs> she wants to get a read off of me so bad. I do. I'm trying to read every <laughs> sign off of his face as I possibly can. It's not like Princess. Tyler. The In Queen. Th no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the question. A. She has a name. I feel like this is like Princess Nala. Or Auntie. V, <laughs> Anti. 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 Anti A. He feels confident with the Anti A. Princess Bala. 
That's all saying Nala's fucking me up. Nala was close, but that was Lion King, I think. You're not even going to like let me know that I'm like getting a little warm. You're going to no, like where? think I got to go like so. Did like, Alex Trebek different... give clues and hints <laughs> to the contestants? <laughs> Fuck I don't no. think so. Like, he wouldn't have lasted for... know he's being yeah. warm. Like you should know the shit. You Get don't make it here. 30 years in the big show. For... By just like fucking giving <laughs> friendly ass hints at all. Get the fuck out of here if you don't know the answer. <laughs> this is Jeopardy, bitches. Yeah, a player wants some half chubs for Nala. got to keep up standard here. Tyler, the board is yours. Mm, I'd kneel for him for two. King Leonidas is played by Gerard Butler in this action film from 2007. Gladiator. Incorrect. Fuck. Really? That's what I was about to say. 300? We've seen a million times. 300! 300! Shit! Give him the job. Fuck yeah, I'm on the board. <laughs> 300. Such a good one. Okay. Same category for four. Your four chub answer. Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen, the first of her name, the Unburnt, Queen of the Andals, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Protector of the Realm, Lady Regent of the Seven Kingdoms, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, and Banger of Nephews, was played by this actor on HBO's Game of Thrones. <laughs> you say that like I should know this. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very confident way of presenting the question as if I should know the answer. And again, I do not. The Khaleesi's. It's it's the blonde bitch, right? Ooh. Correct. That is correct. I don't know. Also her name. known as Blair, you want to steal it? Do I get four chubs? You do. Percy, Queen of the Wind. Amelia Clark. Shit. Four chubs. Woo! Wow. Good steal. Blonde bitch was close. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You were on. You were onto it. I knew. You I really mean, I know who you're really talking about. Really getting close with blonde bitch. Can we do? Small screen royals for five chubs, please. Yo. Well, Claire Foy, in her first time portraying an English royal, played Anne Boleyn opposite Damien Lewis as King Henry VIII in this British series. Catherine the Great. We're looking for the name of the series. <laughs> <laughs> and that still could have been Catherine the Great. That's not the name of the series, that's, is what you're saying? That's not the name of the series, but a nice stab. Okay. Tyler. <laughs> the Queen's Cabinet? That was closer. Whoa. The answer was Wolf Hall. Wasn't expecting anyone to get that for five chubs. Queen's Cabinet wasn't far off. It really wasn't. Not wow. bad. I'm actually like really impressed by like the thrown out answer there. <laughs> by the totally made up thrown out answer that yeah, I just Yeah, surprisingly spot. close. No one was coming out here with that. No. <laughs> Wolf Lodge. Um, Do you have been so surprised? I'm like, fuck yeah, they don't even know. I know all about <laughs> Wolf Lodge. Yeah. Here we go. Come at me with some Wolf Lodge trivia. Fictional yeah. royalty for three, please. Your three chub answer. Sean Connery, Clive Owen, and Charlie Hunnam have all portrayed this king in what has proven to be one of the longest enduring stories. King Arthur. That is correct what? for three chub. <laughs> Stuck a job, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them. Oh my god, he's so excited right now. Uh, he's pumped. I I'm love that. Royally <laughs> fucking pumped right now. There's just nothing like getting a good three chub answer. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's darn easy. <laughs> Tyler's still bored. Let's keep it there for four. Most know by now that it'll be Haley Berry playing Ariel in 2023's live action remake of The Little Mermaid. But few are talking about this actor, who will be taking on the role of Queen Ursula. Kelly Clarkson. No, but great guess. Oh, Blair, um, your chance to steal. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say funny. Whoop. Um, Mac Melissa McCarthy. You were almost like <laughs> that me. That is correct. No Melissa way. McCarthy for four chubs. What? Four chubs? You nasty bitch. Okay, we're still just not even going to discuss this. Kelly Clarkson totally would have been so much better. She really would have. Yeah. First of all, can Melissa McCarthy sing? No. Do we know that? Oh, I don't know. Not like Kelly Clarkson. She doesn't have like a very like devilish voice either, Melissa McCarthy. You know, no, like it's talk singing. She doesn't really have to sing as Ursula. Fresh board. More than one monarch for four chubs, please. 
This actor is handed in an award every time she plays royalty, earning an Oscar for playing Queen Anne in The Favorite and an Emmy for playing Queen Elizabeth II in season three of The Crown. Uh, this has to be like Helen Mirren or something. Incorrect. Good guess. Oh, shit. Wait, can, can I get another guess? You can. <laughs> is this a... No. No? No, you, no, you can't. No, you don't. I can't blurt it out right he now. He gets If a he guess. gets it wrong, can is I guess again? Helena Bottom Carter? A better guess. Fuck. What is it? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, <laughs> Kate Blanchett? No. Shit! She's over here negotiating it's for gone. chubs. I guess it's so gone. I lost it completely. <laughs> that was Olivia Coleman. Oh, fuck, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, the board is yours. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Extra fictional royalty for two, please. You're too chub answer. Going by the real name Arthur Curry, he is the reluctant and rightful king of Atlantis. Oh, of Atlantis? One more time, please. Going by the real name Arthur Curry, he is the reluctant and rightful king of Atlantis. Aquaman? Aquaman is correct ah! for two times. Ah! Jason Mimosa, Aquaman. Should have been Kevin Costner, but Mimosa. that's cool. <laughs> Mimosa. Does he get two full chubs for that? He gets two. You think you'd give me two chubs going all back and forth? I wouldn't. <laughs> but I'll because, be honest. But with because you. we're just not going to address the. He likes me more. That's, so. that's true. You didn't even mark off the two over there. Let's do extra fictional for three. Chris Sarandon plays the role of this insufferable prince in The Princess Bride. Prince Buttercup? <laughs> <laughs> no. Blair, a chance to steal for three chubs. It's not a bad guess. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what I got is nothing I mean, better yeah. than that. I, I mean, I don't that. hate your answer now oh, that the question you is asking awesome me. We're looking for Prince Humperdinck. Tyler. <laughs> what did I do? Humperdinck. 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 All right, still me? Yeah. Extra fictional for four. In the movie Spaceballs, Bill Pullman's character turns royalty after he marries Princess Vespa, daughter of King Roland, making this his new title. Yes. It's not Star Lord, it's Lone Star. Prince Lone Star is correct. Ah, what? Oh my god, I wish I had video of Tyler's reaction <laughs> right now. How many chubs was that? That was a four chubber. Four wow. fat chubs. And he stays on the board. <laughs> Let's go five. Extra fictional for five. Yep. Prince Aouda, who helps assist Ace in Ace Ventura when nature calls, is the prince of this tribe. The Wachuchus. Oh! That's incorrect. Fuck! Blair. It's not the Wachuchu tribe? It's not the Wachuchus tribe. <laughs> oh, I don't have it that. I mean, I would have gone with Wachuchus like is it all the day. the Wachichis? You're so fucking close. The Wachuchi. Wachichus. Wachichus. <laughs> is there a D in there? <laughs> fuck, is there a D on the <laughs> What the fuck is it, Tyler? Oh, no, okay. we're too close not to get it. I didn't know the Wachuchus were biters. That's all I can think <laughs> about right now. I have no idea. What is it? It's the Wachati tribe. Ah! Oh, I swear to God, we said that somewhere. He is then. son of the Wachati chief and brother of the Wachati princess. Damn. Fictional royalty for three. We've done that one. For four. Five. Five. Fictional royalty for five. Viggo Mortensen earned fame for taking on the role of this king in the Lord of the Rings franchise. Aragon. Fuck yes! Whoa. Suck it, Blair! Wow. Put that in your bong and smoke it! <laughs> wow. I've seen that one. That's a five chub swing. Look at Blair. Whoa. It's not fun in games to Blair anymore. I'm still up, but the lead isn't quite as impressive as it just was. You still was. got a nice lead, but Titan yeah, still I'm up has by the board. Four. Mm, more than one monarch for five. Bold strategy, Cotton. Your five chub answer. My best friend's wedding star, Rupert Everett, has played royals once or twice. He was the Prince of Wales in The Madness of King George in 1994, 
King Charles I in To Kill a King from 2003. He played his successor, King Charles II, in Stage Beauty in 2004, and King George VI in A Royal Night Out in 2014. But Everett's royal experience isn't just limited to live-action films. He also voiced the fictional Prince Charming in three of these popular animated films. Shrek. That is correct. Come on! For five, wow. four, Chubbs, and the lead. It is the lead. Whoa! No. Wow. I'm a 10 chub swing? Away. Have we ever had a 10 chub swing in a game? <laughs> Blair has, but not in a game. That was for real stakes. Comeback is real. Big shit. Uh, let's do small screen for four. While the E! Channel might be best known for shitty reality shows, the cable network did venture into the world of scripted television back in 2015 with the premiere of The Royals. You'd only know this show for this actor. Who is she? Kirsten Dunst. No, but a nice stab. Fuck. Blair, a chance to steal for four chubs. Is she American or British? <laughs> no. Clues, Blair. You don't get a clue. Well, because I wanted to say Emily Blunt, but would that be like so far off? That is not so far off. That's actually a good guess. Maybe just pocket that for later. Okay. That's Elizabeth Hurley. That is incorrect. Oh, oh. Elizabeth Hurley. Low. Close on the Emily Blunt. That's Elizabeth Hurley. Okay. See, I felt she was British. No chubs gained, but the board is yours. Okay. More than one monarch for one chub, please. When you think of more than one monarch, really one name should come to mind. This actor has played Queen Elizabeth I, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Charlotte, Catherine the Great, and also voiced the title character in the 1995 animated adaptation of The Snow Queen. Do I just say Helen Mirren for like every answer or? Helen Mirren is correct. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus. Taking Jeez. down the house. <laughs> Ties it up and blows the house up at the same time. <laughs> All right. Biopics and nonfiction for four chubs, please. In the film Mary Queen of Scots from 2018, Saoirse Ronan plays Mary, and this actor starred as her cousin, Queen Elizabeth I. Have I said this person before already? <laughs> He's frozen. <laughs> he can't answer. Sersha and... Sersha and... Littering and... <laughs> Sersha and... Yeah, I want to go Kate Blanchett again. But I have a feeling that's incorrect. No. You, Is this Emily Blunt? When in doubt, it's not one of those. <laughs> but Tyler, no! you have the opportunity to try. Uh, is this my Helena Bottom Carter? It's not, but still a good guess. It's Margot Robbie. Really? She played in Queen Elizabeth I in Mary Queen of the Scots. She's somebody's queen? Damn. She's somebody's queen. <laughs> <laughs> What's left? Give me something for four or five. Something for four or five. In 2003, this actor played Queen Howard in a two-part television drama, Henry VIII, and she made her way back to the throne in 2009 as Queen Victoria in The Young Victoria. <laughs> Helen Mirren. That's incorrect. Ah. We already got her. Blair, any guesses for five chubs? You know what I'm going to say. Kate Blanchett? That's incorrect. Oh, cool. It was Emily Blunt. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Oh. It hurts so much more. <laughs> Blair. Oh, it's going to be my Blair. second guess. It was like a 50-50 chance, and she went with her Kate Bomber. Blanchett. You know she's been a bunch of queens, so it's like a good chance it could be a planchette. So I get why you did it. Should have gone blunt. You're, <laughs> you should have taken the blunt on that. <laughs> I'm going to go with I kneel for him for five chubs, please. This actor is on his way up mostly due to both of his roles portraying royalty. First as Prince Philip on Netflix's The Crown, and most recently as Prince Damon in HBO's House of the Dragon. Matt Smith? That's correct. No. No! Way. Matt Smith is correct. Was that for five chubs? Five chubs. Oh, and Tyler it, is so mad at me right now. He didn't like that you got that. No, I didn't. What's left on here? I feel like the only thing was biopics nonfiction for three chubs. That's the last one? Yeah. And you're up by four? I'm up by five. Mm. 
Super. Mm. Super duper. So this one's for six. Wouldn't you know that's the crunchy double. <laughs> Crunchy double. Last one having to be the crunchy double. We're wow. six chubs. That's Who new. That's crunchy a weird coincidence. It. Wow. <laughs> that almost never happened. Lucky me. <laughs> okay. Queen Elizabeth I was played in the critically acclaimed film Elizabeth from 1998 by this actor who received an Oscar nomination for her performance. <laughs> What you got there, Blair? What's Is up, this Giggles? my question? Yeah. There's only one person I want to say. Don't make me say it. You're going to have to say it yeah. for three chubs. Kate Blanchett? That is correct. Oh, it is Kate Blanchett. Hey. That's my question. <laughs> Kate, yeah. That was going to be my guess. Ah. <laughs> I Tyler, and I was like, I mean, here you go. Here no. she is. Blair, well done. That was really hard, you guys. Yeah. That was rough. Wow. That was tough. I've got some road rash. <laughs> <laughs> that was a royal pain in the ass. Yeah. You've had a crazy comeback, though. Like, I thought I was going to, like, straight smash you there. Like, we couldn't even discuss yeah. how bad I was winning there for a second. I was about to Romeo and Juliet you there for a <laughs> minute. <but laughs> you came back. Blair, two dubs in a row. Wow. I needed that. I never would have thought I would have won this one coming back this season. season over yet or what <laughs> <laughs> sick of losing <laughs> well i'm excited to continue but before we do let's take a break hi everybody thank you for listening to something crunchy and we hope you're enjoying the episode It now pays to crunch down every week because we're hooking you up with big discounts from big brands. Up to 35% off Invicta watches using code CRUNCHY and apparel from 8080, where in addition to 10% off using code CRUNCHY, every dollar you spend goes towards an entry in their dream car giveaway. Don't forget to join the Something Crunchy Facebook group for updates, polls, and the web's crunchiest memes. You can find us on Twitter at crunch underscore cast and feel free to send any questions and track submissions to somethingcrunchy at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, this is Tommy Chong and you're listening to Something Crunchy. And we're back. Fun stuff. A quality salute to Royals, fictional or otherwise. Yes. And Blair... A good dub. Wow, I'll take it. I got a royal spanking. Yeah, <laughs> he's royally pissed. <laughs> when, when fun over break. <laughs> Took it out on Blair. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, I do have a fun batch of headlines, and we're overdue. <laughs> First up, an influencer who divorced her husband and married her stepson is having another baby with him. Now that's what? a headline. Whoa, wow. I need to like, wait, revert, rewind, like go back. This is so influential. You uh. need to do this again. <laughs> An influencer who divorced her husband and married her stepson is having another baby with him. My favorite part is that it's another baby. Like what in the <laughs> meth riddled single wide trailer did I just read there? Oh, She's had the old God. bull. Now she wants the young cat. <laughs> <laughs> she saw a luscious bead of sweat going from his chest hair down to his ball fro. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Here we have this nice episode honoring the royals across the drink, and now it's meanwhile uh, yeah. in America. Yeah. Yeah, I hear Stepson, <laughs> new hubby, and soon to be half uncle-in-law knocks up his dad's girlfriend again. <laughs> Do we wonder why they hate us? <laughs> This should start as a Florida man. <laughs> you, I was just going to say, it has to be a Florida story. Yeah, this is a Tallahassee story, if I've ever heard one. I'll give you one guess where this came from. <laughs> Panhandle. Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Jupiter, Florida. Disney bucks. Let's get into some normal news. Cristiano Ronaldo's statue in Portugal has a really popular bulge with the tourists. The penis area of the statue is now worn out and completely discolored after so many people have touched it and taken pictures while touching it. Imagine what that does to a guy's ego. He's already worshipped over there, bronzed for immortality as a statue. Now they made his peen so bulgy that tourists stopped to grab it and take pictures. We should be so lucky. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, I would totally be one of those tourists too. Just be like, hey. Of course, we were the tourists. It would go, and you have to see, like, you would see it's discolored and go, 
Oh, that's hilarious. Everyone comes by and touches yeah, the Yeah, I love him. I feel like they did that, you know, in respect for him because they fucked his face up so bad. Like the bust of his face <laughs> is in nothing. In the statue, it in is. In the statue, was nothing like him, but they gave him like a 14 inch bulge. That's so they- <laughs> even funnier. It's like, well, we fucked up your face, but your yeah. bulge is like. They started from the top nice. down <laughs> and they were like, ah. We didn't do him justice at yeah. all. Load him up on the bulge. Yeah, we give, fucked up the face. What's Portuguese for huge bulge? <laughs> <laughs> Crotch backpack. <laughs> so next time you're in Portugal, grab a handful and a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Shia LaBeouf. So Shia LaBeouf admits that he's cheated on every woman he's ever been with and also claims he never tells sexual partners about him getting cold sores. Oh. Stay classy, honey boy. I oh. love it. Oh, no. Did he just have a kid, too? Did he just have like a little cold sore of himself? <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine having a fun night with Shia, then finding out you got a LaBeouf, some antibiotics before your lips no. fall off. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no. Information I could have used yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Not only oh. have I cheated on you, but enjoy the crotch rod. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> See my movies. <laughs> oh God! And we even discovered that he doesn't even have a huge pen, so it's like you're gonna also just like. Well, Blair referring to the Hollywood hammer soon. Uh, I mean, people don't forget. <laughs> I forget that we talked people about small peen in there as well. Yeah, we, we did d- throw in a few like well-known small peeners. We didn't just highlight the hogs. Mm-mm. We had a the piglets too it, got it, their shine. It was the variety hour. Yeah, Drake is taking on a different approach to spicing it up in the bedroom. He was banging his Instagram model and took some serious precautions to make sure he didn't get her pregnant. He wrapped it up and went to throw it away right after. Well, she goes in and has the bright idea to dig out the condom and pour its contents into her poon. <gasps> But what she didn't know is that Drake oh. poured a bunch of Tabasco or a hot sauce packet in the condom after he took it off to kill the sperm, oh. so staying one step ahead. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. And she comes running out screaming. Now she's trying to sue Drake for fucking up her vag. Oh. She, she sued, sued my, my friend. friend. <laughs> the burglar sued my friend. He sued my friend. My friend had to pay the burglar $6,000. Is that justice? No. Oh. <laughs> I could have gotten 10. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, my <laughs> mind is blown in so many ways. First off, the fact that like Drake has to even think about putting Tabasco in his condoms, oh. like ensure that like crazy bitches don't try and this get This is like, not the first rodeo. Like he does this on a daily basis. Of course, he has those little travel bottles. Yeah, I, that's fun and awesome foresight and great planning, but this was one flush away from never being an issue. Why didn't he flush it instead of. Was it at his house? Good question. I don't know. You don't know. flush that shit at your house unless you want the septic guy out in the morning for you can't 900 just, like, bucks. You flush condom. You cannot flush a condom. You can flush a condom. You cannot. I have only flush condoms. You have only fucked up septic systems. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, you're not supposed to flush. You can like no. barely flush a baby wipe. I have That's flushed a saying. bowl of condoms at a time. Oh. A, a bowl? <laughs> oh my God. I can't even look at it right now. <laughs> You're the reason for the water shortage and the backups <laughs> that we have at the sewer plant, bro. Like, you can't do that. No wonder our house, like, fucking exploded. <laughs> so, I had a house party. There was party. a little septic issue after a house party. I had a house party one time. Story time here. <laughs> I had a house party one time. My parents were out of town, and there was way too many people over, and I'm sleeping on one wing in the house, and I wake up to my buddy going, dude, I don't know what the fuck happened, but everything smells like shit. And I was like, what? Oh, he no. goes, there's poop in the fucking shower. There's shit in the sink. There is poop everywhere. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I ran into my parents' bathroom, and there was like two feet of shit in the fucking shower. Oh, my God. At a house party, you're seeing this? At my house, yeah, after the party. Like, I had a party. All the This is the over. aftermath. This is the aftermath. Oh, no. So you can't just clean this up with some paper towels. No, like, I'm caught. So the problem. I called my parents and I was like, I don't know what happened. The, there's shit everywhere. And they're like, <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. There's shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll clean that shit up before we get home. No, well, no you I'm don't sorry. understand. <laughs> they're like, no, call the septic guy. They, they'll have to come out and pump it. Like, apparently this isn't the first time. But he comes out, pumps it, and turns out it's a fucking condom that got stuck that backed everything up. And the shit just went right back up through the drain. 
like a bowl? Do not flush bowls full of condoms, bro. Used bowl? Why do you have a bowl? I don't bowl even want to ask any like more questions. I don't like, want to follow up with any additional no. info. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many questions. How many people were you collecting? <laughs> I wasn't collecting. <laughs> it was like you a... end up with a bowl full. It was a wild day. I don't even want to look at him. Don't <laughs> ask him more questions. So we won't be flushing anymore. We're no, just like gonna, stop flushing them. So we just pour in a little Tabasco, yes. a little guacamole, tie it off, and throw it away. I hit it with bear mace. <laughs> and then just like bear mace. You know? Is there a product already out specifically designed for this where you could just have like a, a little soap dispenser? Not branded. <laughs> now we're thinking ahead. Something <laughs> Crunchy's plan A. Drake is thinking locally, this and we are thinking C. globally. Crunchy plan. <laughs> plan, <laughs> plan crunch. Plan C. <laughs> plan C is great. <laughs> when plan B doesn't work, just squirt a little plan C in there, <laughs> and you're fine. You don't have to keep the little mini Tabascos and the little the sauce packets from Taco Bell. You yeah. don't need the yeah. Diablo sauce. <laughs> you don't need to keep fire sauce in the next your to your Diablo hair brush. For your no, it'll come in like a nice suave dispenser and just a little plan C. You know? Just crunch away Good your problems. To go. Just cr- <laughs> just a little pinch between your teeth and gums. <laughs> <laughs> Solving problems one crunch at a time. Yeah. Four out of five rappers recommended. <laughs> <laughs> Save your hot sauce. Stick with the plan C. Uh, <laughs> it's basically just hand sanitizer with yeah. a little bit of fragrance so it doesn't smell <coughs> like jizz and sanitizer. <laughs> Who cares about the smell? You're going to tie it off. <laughs> of course. Or you, Blake would smell it before he like, ties it off. I'm just saying if you have your choice between jizz and lavender fresh, yeah. I'm going with the lavender scented. <laughs> It's the same with the uh, with the garbage bags. I say we do a little touch of bleach, a little bit of baking soda, make that thing like poof, make a little magic show. Ooh. There's you know? a recipe. Everyone loves the magic show. It needs to glow, though, like the ooze from the second Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah. Oh, we yes. made that happen. You know what I mean? Where yeah. it has the lu- luminescent qualities to it. The slime. Yeah. <laughs> Glows in the dark. It's great. Well, that's good stuff. <laughs> The time has finally come. People are now making jewelry from semen. <laughs> really? I've been waiting. I know. Jeweler and sculptor Amanda Booth opened up a package of bottled semen first thing in the morning. It was a mistake. She'd only make once. <laughs> she said fresh samples are one thing, but when they've been in the mail for a little bit, I mean, it smells like semen, you know. Clients commissioned Jizzy Jewelry, her term, and <laughs> thin samples of cum to her workshop to be dehydrated, powdered, and then incorporated into wearable clay beads and trinkets. So you can see I'm wearing a little something Shut here myself. Up, like, <laughs> you're like, it just that obviously nice. had. Look at that detail. I see that. Yeah. It's our great grandmother, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to have it made sperm of the moment. <laughs> oh. Also, getting a custom grill made should be in next Oh week. my no. God, gross. <laughs> I sent her a mason jar full of goo. So we worked out like a subscription box deal where she sends me something cool once a month. Just like make shit out of your sperm. <laughs> but why do they hate us? I don't get it. <laughs> we are so fucking wrong. ridiculous. So would you buy Blair like a little necklace made of your goo? Sure. <laughs> sure. Right before the vasectomy? <laughs> like, I have it. Like, <laughs> this one's a live sample to always remember me by. What do you think this fantasy football trophy's made out of? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. Take a close look at that engagement ring. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler was first on the curve. <laughs> Doing that shit since the nineties, bro. <laughs> so would you wear something made of Tyler's jizz? If it was like the last of the Mohicans right before I went in for the vasectomy and then it was like, you know, dead chowder after that and I wanted to save a little memento for you to put on a little Well, that's not freeze dry in it. That's just, they were live at some point. Right. And now it's a necklace. (laughs) (laughs) If you really need to, you can go in there like Jurassic Park style and extract the... (laughs) Extract the DNA. Dinosaur DNA. (laughs) Dressel DNA. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, no, I just wear it around my neck. Yeah, you know? just in case we need to like populate the world someday. You've got the key to the existence of the world. Is this also like locked and frozen in a necklace? I think it's just a clay trinket. Yeah, like Billy Bob and Angelina have that little vial of blood. You're wearing a this little cross like... made of goo. <laughs> <laughs> my baby is goo. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're wearing a little pennant made of Tyler. Crispity, <laughs> crunchity, peanut buttery Tyler goo. <laughs> it's coming at you. In maybe the most American story yet, Ray J claimed that Chris Jenner watched multiple different sex tapes of he and Kim and chose which one to release to the public. She watched three separate sex tapes of her daughter in order to choose the one that give her the best look. Man, our mom is lacking in such a big way. No ah! shit. Can't even get her to watch one sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy what like no. i totally believe it now because no. like the the fucking angle and stuff and you only she was face down for all of it it was so <laughs> like bullshit stage and mom yes. picked yes you could tell her mom had something to do with the production i do not <laughs> believe you are you serious dead serious yeah. There's helicopter parenting, and then there's, hey, Ray J, give me a little helicopter and look into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see a little side dig uh -huh. and a smile. There we go. Kim getting stuffed by Ray J, a Chris Jenner production. That's weird. Wow. That's wow. a little too involved. Looking at multiple ones and saying that's the one you should release, that's going to get you there. Man, momager's got to get like an extra couple percent for that. Yeah. You know the Illuminati came to her first and was like, all right, you guys want to be famous or what? You got a couple daughters there. We're going to need one of them. Just You're going to pull out a banger, okay? You, one. you have so many. Just pick one. Pick your best daughter. Yeah. Pick, pick your most bangable daughter. She's like, Kim! <laughs> <laughs> have you met Ray J? <laughs> <laughs> it's Brandy's brother. That's Brandy's brother? Yeah. Yes, well, I always Blake. forget that. Yeah. He's cute, right? I always forget that. You like him. You do. <laughs> you like him. <laughs> Why don't you go hang out in the bedroom with him for a little bit and I've see never things seen go. this tape but I can't believe that like she would you've look never at seen this you've tape? never seen the tape I've never seen the tape hold on <laughs> hang on pause on. I feel like I get like a Zach Morris like time out from <laughs> Saved by the Bell yeah. like we all just <laughs> pause <Time out. laughs> until I've seen this I've cut it on my, my on my pinned bullet yeah. Tyler I'll, beep I'll just, boop I'll two send seconds it later 20 seconds I'll send it right over you can that quickly just like get it like no that Linkovich Chamovsky is sitting in your inbox. Wow, mom picked and everything. Mom approved. Mom approved. For forty dollars a month, you can now follow Tommy Lee on OnlyFans. He's tired of Instagram policing bodies, so he's showing off his Only Toms for a real girthy fee. <laughs> the problem is, <laughs> Tommy. That we've all seen your ween. Yeah. More than once. And for most of us, it was back in the 90s when you had a young and healthy hog. <laughs> we saw it in its prime. You want to charge 40 bu a month to watch you pop a Viagra and beat that thing back to life? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, but... paying premium for an old hog. I mean, He'll write your name doing? across the side for, you know, an extra fiver. Like, that's kind of cool. I'd let him put, like, Blair's name and, like, submarine. I'd say, all right, draw submarine windows on the one side. Put Blair's name on the other. I want you to write SS Muff Diver across the top. Yeah, at least do something fucking yeah, fancy and then with do, it. Do the choo-choo around your living room. Uh, you could do that on Cameo. You don't need OnlyFans for that. But OnlyFans is like eight bucks. Cameo, that's like 5,000. So he just wants to show off his dong. He likes his dong. <laughs> put it on Instagram. It was like, I can't believe they took down my dong pic. I just want to show my okay. dog. So now he wants to monetize it and just like, check out my peen for 40 bucks a month. I know how we can monetize this for him. We do a traveling Tommy Lee cock puppet show <laughs> where he just like drops it through black. It's all virtual now. He could do like a metaverse peep show. It's even better. What are we doing? Like, <laughs> what are we, what are we doing? Even doing here? Zoom cock, cock puppets? Fuck yeah. Yes, get cock puppets via Zoom. Like everybody that's in the room, you can get, get and plus it's just coin dancing involved. And playing around. And they can yeah. get, like, is this a dramatic scene? Ooh, or, like Sell my post coin for dick coin. And then we'll do like a dick puppet show on Zoom. For you. Tommy coin? Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just don't get it. We, we've all seen it, and now he wants to charge for it. It's like paying to watch videos of Vince Carter trying to dunk a basketball today when you could see the old dunk contest highlights from his prime for free. Like, it doesn't make sense. No. Ronaldo has a bronze statue of his peen on display. <laughs> he couldn't rake in 40 bucks a month. You know why? Because <laughs> no one pays for peen. Not even Hollywood hammers. 40 bucks a month. 
maybe it shoots fire now it's so infected like that i'd pay 40 bucks a month to watch tommy lee shoot flames out people would pay 40 bucks a month to see idris elba shia labeouf against tommy lee Mm -hmm. just std showdown yes you get those two cocks in the same room and the furniture is going to start melting yeah nasty cock fight yeah they should just do like a long-term comparison not like you know, it's not like a thirty-minute show. It is, but it's over like it two years. Needs to over time. Pictures every day of right. like anything that makes every rise. chick that leaves has to take like a questionnaire and a, an STD test. And well, then... if they were to double up on the same chick, she Whoa. would either die or come out with superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> Something's happening. There. It's one or the other. She would like infect another country with something. Metastasized. I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know, like it would turn into a. The bird flu of An- sorts. Another epidemic. Fish flu. Country shut down because of it. <laughs> we don't need that. I'm stressed just thinking about it, to be honest. <laughs> well, let's move on to our track of the week. <laughs> Sourced, of course, from Song River out of Cowgirls Inn Entertainment. Out of New York City, this is Signs of Life by Mark C. Daniel.
right, Mark C. Daniel. Strong vocals and a great track. Yeah, mm. some notes. Some good stuff. We're jamming on that. And Blair has now seen the Kim Kardashian sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's all red. Blair's been enjoying some sex tape. Uh-huh. No. That was a real track of the week for Blair. <laughs> <laughs> really turned her on. New Dream Card giveaway over at 8080. In addition to the 15% you get off for using code Crunchy, they're offering double the entries right now, all for a brand new Lamborghini plus $60,000 in cash. You do not want to miss out. Nor do you want to forget to check out SoundCrunchy.com, where you'll find every episode of our links for social media and the Almighty Crunch Store, where you'll find all kinds of crunchy gear showing that you are a proud citizen of Crunch Nation. Then there's the Sound of the Crunchy Facebook group, where your internet royalty, if you drop a tasty meme. <laughs> this has been another episode of Something Crunchy. And as always, don't ever forget to live your crunchiest life and be crunchy to one another. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and all that crunchy good shit. Thank you for listening. Do I take my chub now? Take the chub down. (laughs) (laughs) Don't don't you dare. You're a horrible Vanna White. (laughs) 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 Just falls apart immediately. (laughs) Oh, Blair. Fatty McSwiggins, the old college name. The old college name. Bringing back the old college years there. Are we turned down? Fatty McSwiggins. Like Blister, the, the college years. Fatty McSwiggins. <laughs> worst name. Uh, I would have given you a swig. Freshman oh. Fatty McSwiggins. I would have given you a swig. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my eyes are half open. I feel totally bensoned right now. No. No, you're not even like half You look great. Finally win one and I like get a little something extra tonight. Love that. We'll give you a little something extra. (laughs) Saved you my phone as honey boy.